Hello and welcome to Hooked on High Vibes. Today I'm going to be talking about something that will really help you move forward if you're feeling stuck. It will really help bring more gratitude into your life. It will help you to feel more self-love and to cultivate a, a loving relationship with yourself. And this one thing is for me really important to maybe bring into your monthly routine if you have one of those, um, something that will really add to your self-love. And that is honouring ourselves. So honouring ourselves is a way of showing ourselves self-love. And for me, honouring ourselves means really really appreciating us, really appreciating how far we have already come, really appreciating the work that we've done already in our lives. And it's very easy to get caught up on on your future goals uh, and your dreams and to be really focused on those, um, which is brilliant to be working towards something creatively and, and really passionately. But sometimes we can get so focused on the end goal or something we're working towards that we can lose sight of what we have already done, um, everything that we've already achieved. And if we start to lose that feeling of gratitude, then one of the best places to go is to go and remember and honour everything that you've already done on this journey. Because I could, I think for most of us, we, when we're so set on, on our future goals, we can really forget about all the wonderful things um, that we have already achieved. And once you actually stop and think about how far you've come and write it all down, it, it really brings that, that sense of um, self-love into your body because you realise how amazing you are, you realise actually how much you have achieved already and how very capable you are of moving through challenges, getting out of your comfort zone and, and really moving forward all the time. So if you are feeling stuck then well, this exercise is really good to do. So what I recommend you do is just sit somewhere comfortably on your own, somewhere quite quiet. You can sit in meditation for a couple of minutes just to centre yourself and place your hands on your heart. This is always a really good place to put your hands when you're doing meditation because our heart is very much our centre. And if you take a deep breath and release, you'll find your energy coming into your body. Usually our energy is going out, outwards from our mind when our mind's running 100 miles an hour, the next thing to do, the next idea. And what we want to do is we just want to bring it all in. So if you feel your energy coming into your centre, this will ground you and bring you in. So you should be feeling a lot calmer now, a lot more centred and a lot more connected with yourself. Okay, so once you feel that, then what I suggest you do is take a journal and to start to write down, you can go back as far as you want in your life and write down all the things that you have overcome, all the things that when you first looked at them, they they scared the crap out of you. You were, you know, when you thought of it, it just brought up fear and you thought to yourself, I am never going to be able to do that. Anything that you've really achieved, which you're super proud of yourself, which you didn't think you would, but you did. Um, if you had something that big that happened in your life and you got through it, something that was challenging, something that was maybe, you know, really heavy, but you you did get through it um, and you're here today and you got through it and you used your strength and you're still here that's really good you know you us as human beings we are always expanding and we have a survival instinct in us that we can really get through anything when we put our minds to it and sometimes we can forget what we achieve 
And I think really writing down these things, when you're stuck in a rut or you feel like there's something that's coming up and it's scaring you again and you think, I will never be able to do that. I can't even imagine, you know, getting through this or I don't know if I've got it in me. Um, the best thing to do is read your list of everything that you have achieved and you'll realise how much strength and potential and everything that is already in you. You have so much power in you and you can achieve anything that you want. It's really about honouring ourselves and honouring the journey that we've already been on and really giving ourselves self-love in that way by really looking back and seeing what we've achieved. So, for instance, something on mine would be the fact that I have my own business. I would have never in a million years thought that I could have done it. And, of course, it's been a learning curve along the way. I'm not massively amazing at technical stuff um, and, and business in general. Like, I've had to learn a lot of things and sometimes I can come up against another thing that I'm like I'm never going to be able to do that and I have to stop and remind myself that I'm very capable and it might be a challenge but I've got through all of these things and I can do this and um, for instance also with my health when I was 21 I felt terrible I couldn't even and I had been feeling ill for a really long time and didn't ever think that I was going to feel well again and it felt like a challenge and I felt like giving up and and now you know I've healed my body from all of those things um that I I had back then which was a number of 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 imbalances in my body um and you know I worked through that and it did take me a couple of years but I did it and the same with my um, anxiety and depression and putting things in place so that I could really start to reprogram my brain and uh, feel more positive and put meditation in place and when I look back everything that I've achieved it, sometimes you can I can just forget what I've done in the past and and forget the last you know um, 12 years of my health journey and the last 33 years of my life but when we go back and we see what we've achieved even as children see like um, what you did as a child if you, you know pass, pass a dance exam or it could be the littlest of things but we have really done so much in our lives already and we really need to honour ourselves for how far we've come already and honour those selves write them down Oh, sorry, honor those, honor those things, write them down and let your, you know, your heart and soul know that you are so grateful for you. You are so grateful for everything that you've done already. I promise that this exercise was really good at pulling you out of that rut if you feel stuck. It will give you a new sense of gratitude for yourself. It will give you so much more self-love. Um, Honouring ourselves is one of the the most important things that we can do um, for our happiness and health. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, please comment below. Um, subscribe if you'd like to learn more. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.